Hi everyone, this is Josie with firstthecoffee.com. Welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make the crochet cat mat. These are great to use as a cover for an area that your cat likes to sleep in. We use them on the cat trees and in window seats in order to create a protective cover that we can easily wash as needed. I've actually used these for quite a few years now for my cats and the burnout blanket yarn does stand up very well to the wear and tear that they can put on it. Okay, to make this crochet cat mat, you're going to need one skein of burnout blanket yarn or another super bulky yarn. And it will take about 187 yards to complete this. You'll also need an eight millimeter crochet hook. The finished size is 24 inches long by 15 inches wide. Okay, to start out, you're going to want to do an initial foundation chain of 35. So you want to create your slip knot and then chain 35. If you are new to crocheting, this yarn can be a bit tricky to work with. It is a little bit harder to see the individual chains or stitches as you're going along. When you're looking at the chain, you can see how the ridges form, and those are your individual chains. You can also pull the chain to create an opening so you can see where the individual's chain is. One good thing with this yarn is that it can't be split apart, so your hook will be going into the stitch as there isn't really any other place for it to go. So for row one, you're going to want to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So you'll just insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, and pull through both loops on your hook. Okay, so you'll just want to single crochet all the way across for row one. And at the end of this row, you'll want to chain two and then turn your work. Another thing I've found working with this yarn is that holding it in the traditional way with it wrapped around your pinky finger to control tension actually makes the tension too much. And I usually bypass using my pinky finger and just control the tension with my index finger instead. Okay, at the end of row one, you're gonna to wanna to chain two and then turn your work. Initial chains at the start of the rows do not count as a stitch. And then for row two, we're going to start using the sedge stitch, which is going to be a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet worked in the same stitch. So you'll be going into the first stitch and doing a single crochet. Then you'll be doing a half double crochet. And then after that, you're gonna do a double crochet in that same stitch. Then we'll be skipping two stitches, and then we'll be going into the third stitch. And again, you'll just be doing a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet in that third stitch. And then you'll just repeat this process of skipping two stitches, and then doing the single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet in the next stitch, all the way across the row. Once you get to the end of the row and you have three stitches left, you want to, you're going to want to skip two stitches and then just do one single crochet in the last stitch remaining on the row. Chain two and then turn your work around and you'll repeat this again on the next row. And you'll do this all the way up through row 34. At the end of row 34, instead of chaining two, you're just going to chain one. Okay, for row 35, you're going to want to start to do a single crochet in that first stitch, and then just do a single crochet all the way across in each stitch. At the end of this row, you can fasten off and weave in your ends. And I hope your cats enjoy this mat as much as mine have. Thanks for watching. 
Be sure to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date on new patterns as they release.